Hello guys, this is Tara Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the um, April 2016 Green Moon money reading for the Aries. Sorry, my cards are just everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Deviant Moon Tarot deck for this reading. Um, it's a five card spread. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. So the Green Moon, everyone is saying it's a hoax. I like to think of every full moon as the Green Money Moon. So... Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see if the moon looks green from any angles <laughs> that day. But it's going to be a five-card spread. It's going to look at your money situation. I do suggest a personal reading because this is not going to um, jive with every Aries out there. So I do suggest uh, coming to me for a reading. So um, there's also a coupon code. Um, in the video description box for new customers so you can use that coupon code when you check out okay if you are a returning customer you can also use um, another coupon code that I have which is um, return to me 10 that's also in the um, video description box all right so we're gonna be looking at the Aries current financial foundation um, will money be coming into the Aries life very soon. Um, any money opportunities that the Aries may wish to consider more closely. Who or what project will bring in more money. And the outcome. Um, we're going to be looking into April and May. Okay. So this is going to be the money green moon money reading for April and May of 2016. All right, because we've, we've got only half of the month left. Oh, I guess I'll just look at the rest of the month. <laughs> There's two more weeks left, so. All right, so I'm going to cut. And like I said, this is five cards. I'm going to move through them quickly, so. All right, so card number one is your current financial situation or your current financial foundation and I'd say it's pretty strong um, I think that with a lot of you Aries <clears throat> you had a lot of fear surrounding money and security and you conquered that fear and when you conquered that fear it looks like it opened up more money in your life okay um so, <clears throat> whenever you see this card, this was a major event, so obviously there was something that, um, for some of you Aries, that was preventing, it was sort of blocking. Um, this is the energy of the sun. The strength card is a very passion. It's filled with a lot of passion. And so, this is about conquering your fears and controlling your impulses and being patient with yourself. So, um, I'm showing that you've entered a new cycle where money is is positive okay because it may not have been that before make sure that you save some of the money it looks like that's what this card wants to tell you as well some of you Aries may be getting ready to purchase a home when this card comes up okay so just make sure that you live within your means you know make sure that you have the ability to repay the loan is all this card is saying <clears throat> don't you know um don't be too impulsive okay um <clears throat> card number two is will money be coming into your life very soon and i would say yes there's going to be a woman involved because you did get the queen so this is a literal person in your life um <clears throat> it may or may not involve a woman it could be a man Whoever this person is, they have the ability to hold on to money. So, you know, not only do, do they have it, but they know how to maintain it. Okay, so this could either be a literal person or this could be you. So this is a very positive card when it comes to your finances. Um, this is somebody that doesn't spend, um, they don't spend too much, okay? They don't spend frivolously. So the Queen of Pentacles is someone that knows how to hold on to money. She's very motherly. And this is an excellent omen. 
Okay, so to answer the question, will money be coming into your life very soon? Yes. Um, it may even be a woman that's going to contact you about it. Okay. Um, card number three is money opportunities <clears throat> that you may wish to consider more closely. And you got the eight of swords. So this may not resonate with all of you, Aries, but I'm going to say to get this card. I would say before you begin, uh, whatever projects it is, whatever investment that you are wanting to make that you are afraid of, I think it's going to end up being a good investment. So the Eight of Swords, again, is about fear. So there's some sort of opportunity that you may have that you are afraid of. So this is letting you know that you're holding yourself back. Okay, so I get the sense that some of you Aries want to be entrepreneurs or you want to go to another career and nobody's stopping you from you. Nobody is stopping you but you. So you just need to quit fearing the unknown because, I mean, you, how, does, how do people ever discover things, you know? So you need to make sure you're not being negative. Your thoughts, your speech, your behavior. Um, see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. <laughs> so make sure you're not speaking evil or you're not speaking negative thoughts. You're not, you know, um, make sure you're not manifesting these things for yourself. And so this is letting you know that don't do any self-fulfilling prophecies, okay? Your bad luck financially is going to come from the reality that you create. So stop being afraid to step out of the box and do what it is that you really want to do. Okay. Um, card number four is what project will bring in more money. <clears throat> and you got the full card. So it's a new project for some of you that's going to make a major impact on you financially. So whatever this new project, whatever this new idea that you're thinking about right now, you need to go for it. Okay, so in general, this card is about trust. You need to trust yourself. And you need to know that whatever this amazing idea is, it's a good idea. It's a new start. It's an increase. And... You know, no matter what, you're going to come off on top when you see this card. Okay, now your last and final card, Aries, is the outcome. And this is a beautiful card. You got the Eight of Wands. So what that means is that whatever this financial thing that you're wanting to do, as long as it's legal, <laughs> whatever it is, um, it's going to be rough. Okay, it's probably going to be a rough start. You're probably going to have people you know, that are going to, you know, try to slow you down, okay? Um, they might be trying to put more pressure on you, okay? So don't worry about those other people, okay? The, you're moving ahead, so you're on the right path. This is a positive card. This denotes balance as far as with your finances. It may seem like things are not moving financially, but it's because of you. It's because of your fear, okay? Which is what we saw with the Eight of Swords, okay? Um, again, this is a major um, arcana, the full card. So when the Eight comes up, um, again, as reminded by the Strength card, is to make sure that you save money and watch your spending habits. And just be patient, okay? Um, if you want a more personal reading, contact me. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you guys good money, luck, blessings, and abundance very soon. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.